Hi guys, you are welcome to my channel. Alright, today we are going to discuss about ATS with the Wi-Fi system. Okay, now I have with me here ATS for three power source. One of the power source happens to be the utility supply. Then the second one is the standby supply, that is the gen set, that is the DG, the diesel generating set. Then another one here, making it third one, is going to be solar inverter system. But conventionally, ATS is being designed according to end user requirement. Okay, this particular logic is also designed based on end user request. The end user requested that the source of power is going to be the solar inverter system. That is the primary source of power is going to be solar inverter system. Then seconded by the utility. Then lastly, the standby gen set. That means the prime source of power is going to be relying is going to be relying on solar inverter system. Then when the solar is not available. When the solar source is not available, that is when the utility will come active. And in the absence of utility, that is when the gen set will get energized. Okay? <clears throat> then the gen set source will be allowed to come and take over. Okay? Alright. Then the reason being that the billing, okay, the billing from the utility seems to be outrageous according to the end user. So the meter reading for the utility supply is, um, is on the high side. So the end user now decided to introduce solar system. Okay, so that it will now do away with the utility high B. So it can only use utility B, uh, utility supply to charge the battery of the solar system. To charge the battery and the battery solar system. When the battery is fully charged, the utility supply is going to be knocked off, then solar take over again. Then when the uh, utility is not available and the solar system battery is a kind of down up to 50%, so this gen, gen set will come up to recharge the battery again. Then when the battery is fully charged, gen set will also be knocked off, then solar take over again. That means solar is going to be prime source. The solar system is one controlling this other two power source that is standby gen set and the utility okay that is the operational sequence of this particular logic then this portion here is my utility logic then why this one here is for my gen set start signal that is the remote start signal for the gen set okay then here now is the gen set uh, logic why lastly this other portion is for our solar inverter system logic okay then the wi-fi i told you about that is also being incorporated to the system based on request is this other portion okay essentially the function of this particular wi-fi is for overriding function okay whenever end user decided to override any of this sequence operation it can put on your phone because this Wi-Fi is also linked to an app, okay? You are going to install the app in your phone, your mobile phone. Put on your phone and they activate any of this other one to override. Supposing you are using solar and they want to put on your gen set. So you can now on your phone and you have the button on the phone. You now deactivate your solar and put on your gen set. If you also want to also put on your utility and deactivate solar, you can also do that. So it's just essentially going to be used for overriding of this sequence. That is this uh, um, Wi-Fi system, okay? We also have override features on individual logic. It means the utility here, we have override switches. Then here too, we have override switches. Here, there is also override that. But this override, they are also going to be performed while you go to where the ATS is uh, situated. But on the Wi-Fi, it can override any of this function with your mobile phone anywhere you are in the world, provided you have internet enabled device, okay? That is when you can access this function to modify any of this logic. 
you change the sequence of operation okay then uh, another <coughs> advantage of having this wi-fi is the is that sometimes our solar system does not have the capacity to power our load demand for instance if our load demand our total load demand in our residential area happens to be like 50 kilowatts okay if the load demand is 50 kilowatt and the inverter system is about 25 kilowatts so in that case you are going to do installation based on load isolation so you're going to isolate some part of your load out of the solar system then when you are using utility the whole of the load can be powered then when you are also using your genset the whole of the uh, uh, genset uh, your load demand can also be used utilized but when you are using your solar system some of your load will be diversified and the sum of which that is going to be on regular base used will be on or simultaneously okay oh, that is the essentially why we need um wi-fi system because sometimes if your load management is not um, enabled is not enabled by wi-fi the system cannot be able to power the whole of your load demand okay so you have to uh, be very very careful if you are doing what we call load uh, management system load management system is such that some of the load will be isolated each time any of this power is active okay but if the load is well sized your load demand is sized based on any of this um, power source you don't have any any problem whichever one that is active will be able to power your load demand your total load demand of your uh, building okay so that is essentially um the system uh, process of installation okay but this uh, like i said before this wi-fi system is uh, is for overriding whenever i want to change the sequence operation of what you have you want to alter the system you now use your wi-fi and put on your mobile device and they override them like i give example a scenario whereby your inverter system cannot power your total load demand so in that case you have to, you have to go into what we call load management so when you are doing load management on this and the, for instance you have a guest and they want to put on some of your, for your air conditioners some of your refrigerators uh, i think a considerable number of them which inverter cannot power so you can now put on your phone to knock off your solar and put on your utility uh, or put on your genset to be able to power essentially more important load in your apartment okay if for instance you are working as uh, on a considerable distance from your home or maybe it will take you two hours to get home so when going home you can put on your mobile device and also put on your utility to override solar so that by the time you get home most of your air conditioner must have shielded up your apartment okay and uh, including uh, your refrigerating systems okay so that is the uh, more advantage of this particular wi-fi system so let's see if we can simulate and then um, and uh, like i said before your primary source here from this logic we design it to take over by solar okay then if i take off this solar that is when this logic will come in all right so this portion is um, i use this one to illustrate my power circuit any of this one this contact one two three k1 k2 k3 i use them to represent any of this power source anyone that closes will give me this output okay all right so uh here is my number here is my contact number if you want to invest on control system then this is the step one step two i will also teach you how to convert this logic to ladder logic okay i'm going to write program based on this logic and convert it to ladder diagram and download it to plc plc will take over this function okay yeah that is the second step so if you are interested share this to your loved ones to whoever that is aspiring to come into automation space you share this particular logic to the person and they also give me your uh your suggestions or your contribution come to my uh so you go to my commenter section okay 
All right, let's see if we can, if time will permit me to illustrate, to simulate once more. Once I put on the simulation, look at this K3. K3 belongs to this solar system. This one will come up. Then, if the battery of the solar system goes down below 50%, 50% fat, 50% is essentially the, uh, uh, the limit their battery is not expected to go below. So once you use your power up to 50% of your battery storage, then battery is expected to get recharged. So when the inverter and solar system is on, and the battery, this, this is voltage monitor that is going to monitor the battery, the life, the life of your battery. When you go below 50, then any of this power can come up and knock off inverter. So that the battery gets recharged. If the utility is active as at when the battery of the solar is down, okay, the, the solar, this monitor, this um, voltage monitor is going to cut off the solar from your output and they energize the utility to recharge the battery. When the battery feed up, the utility is going to be knocked off, solar take over again. Then, when the battery is done and the battery needs to be recharged to a certain setting point, if you have to set between that 50 limit, that 50 percent, when the battery is drained to 50 percent, utility is not active as at then, then genset should come up and re start recharging the battery. When the battery is filled up, genset should knock off and uh, inverter solar system take over again. All right, so like I said before. The third source of power, the last option to come up is going to be the gen set, the DG, the diesel generating set. That is the last option to come up when the U, uh, utility is not available and the solar need to be recharged. That is when gen set come up. Or when the end user want to utilize at least 70% or 80% of the low demand of the apartment, which solar cannot take. Like I said before, if you are into load management, solar cannot take much of your load. It's going to be on isolated operation. So because of that, it can now override mains. Okay, sorry, it can now override your solar system so that you put on your mains because mains can take the total load demand of your apartment. Then gen set can also be sized to take your total load demand as well. So when you are running on gen or when you are running on utility, you can use any of your equipment. Any of them can come up. And all of them can as well come up as well if you wish, if it is size to do so, okay? But when you are using solar, you're going to be on load management. You now put on the confined load that are also on solar only, okay? So on that note, if you are going to use the whole of your load demand on genset, you can now override the solar either by using your Wi-Fi to knock off the solar, or it can now go to where the ATS is going to be situated and override through the switches, independent switches that is going to be incorporated to the ATS, okay? All right, now, let me now, uh, at this junction, let me knock off this solar. You now see this one now close. This one is now utility. Let me also knock off utility. Watch, the gen set is coming up. It will, go, it will start. It will crank and start. When it starts, it's going to stabilize. When the speed stabilizes, that is when the contactor will close and they have output. Look at the K2. All right. Now, I also have uh, a power circuit. Let me see. This is the power circuit. Okay. This is the mains, the utility. This is the standby, the gen. And this is the inverter system. If it happens to be single phase, this is the right connection. If it's three phase, then you don't need any loop here. Yeah? Okay, this is my load. All right, so let's go back to. Sorry. Uh... All right, so this is the simulation process. Then this one now. It's my Wi-Fi module, okay? You override from here. So once you put on your Wi-Fi, you're going to have the, the app, open the app. You're going to see the switches. This one represents uh, the switches on your app. 
that we activate any of this relay. Each of this relay is one responsible to get an override of other uh, disorder logic. Okay, so if you're interested to come and uh, invest on this particular logic to learn about this logic, you contact me. Then I will. It's less than less than one week. I will, you are going to. I will pass you through. Are you going to explore through this particular design? It's very simple. The first step is for you to understand the uh, symbols. And the second step is for you to know how to link different symbols to perform a particular logic function. After that, you now learn how to synchronize multiple switches, multiple contact, multiple relays, and uh, contact, and uh, so on, to perform a particular logic. Okay, then after that, we convert this other schematic logic to a ladder diagram and download it to PLC. Okay, check most of my video. You see PLC. Um, I have them. I have PLC. Then um, I have this. This is a 1200 PLC. I have them in three dimensions. I have PLC. I have a um, Siemens logo as well. I have a 1500 uh, PLC as well. So you can write a program and download to any of the PLC available in my software and also simulate it. Then every other um, component you see here, I also have the three Ds. I have the three dimension of every component you can find here. So if you are looking for breaker, I have the three D. If you are looking for contactor, the three D, I have them here. So you are going to design and also build the panel and uh, buy the contact, the component, and they assemble them to come uh, form your enclosure. And uh, that is how you design, build your panel. After simulation and this your simulation pass test, that is when you now buy this component and uh, begin to carry out your wiring diagram. Okay. All right. So contact me. So like to design this together, I will show you a very simple design. All right. Even if you know how to design ATS, I want to teach you how to simulate this and how to do and incorporate so many power source. You can synchronize as six as many possible as 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 much as possible. If up to ten power source can be synchronized together and be alternated by ATS, ATS can synchronize multiple power outage, multiple power um, uh, input, depending on how you want it to be. Okay. You can also make one to be prime and make one to be standby. You can also design ATS to run day and night. Okay, one source of power take over the day, another source of power take over the night operation. Both of them will start alternating that way, depending on how you synchronize them and how you, the method of your design. Okay, all right. So thank you.